Hello, what's up, guys? Welcome to our channel, Think Beyond the Brain. Today, we are going to talk about noise pollution. Now, as we all know, in this generation of world, we all, every person has a bike or a car. So, men, everyone used to use their vehicles on the roads. In the short to short distances also, they use their vehicles because of which a lot of pollution is there. And also because of it, noise pollution is going there. So to stop this, we are going to talk about noise pollution. We will today talk about what are what is noise pollution, what are the causes of noise pollution, what are the effects to us of noise pollution and how to reduce it, how to solve this noise pollution. So before starting, watch our video till the end. Please like our video, share our video, and subscribe our channel. And tap the bell icon for the future videos notification. So let's get started with what is noise pollution. Now noise pollution. Not all sound is considered noise pollution. The World Health Organization WHO defines noise above 65 decibels dB as noise pollution. To be precise, noise becomes Harmful when it exceeds 75 decibels and is painful above 120 decibels. Means whatever we hear sound, not ever now, whatever your sound, our sound is not that harmful. But if the sound goes above 65 dB, means decibels, this is a thing we, which we use to measure noise as we use like centimeters and these all. So this counters noise. So, how is 65 decibels of noise? It goes above it. So, it is considered, it is came into noise pollution. As in many some weddings or any like if any festival is there, many people in our societies or somewhere, they make that loud system, loud speaker system and a lot of full sound. However, they need, however they want, they put. And because of it, if the sound goes above 65 decibels, it is considered into noise pollution. As if the if the noise exceeds from 75 decibels and above it, so it becomes not good for us. From it, slowly, slowly, because our ears start a lot problem in it. And it could go, it could, it could end up with many different diseases. Then Again, if it goes a lot of 120 decibels, then our ears starts pain. As a consequence, it is recommended noise levels be kept below 65 decibels during the day and indicates that restful sleep is impossible. With night time, ambient noise levels in excess of 30 decibels. Now, sometimes if you're sleeping, at that time only someone do a little bit of noise, then, then also we sometimes don't feel anything. But as the sounds, sounds increase from the one, from the one, two, three to 30 decibels, if it goes above 30 decibels, then you cannot sleep. It's impossible to sleep at that time. Then now we will talk about what are the causes, how this noise pollution is caused. There are many sources of noise pollution, but here are some of the main ones. There are many, many, many end up of results, but these are some most common and most effective noise pollution, which is not only good for us. So, like traffic noise. Now, as I told at the starting, as I told at starting only that many people in this generation of this world, every person has now a bike or a car. So he just for short to short distances also he doesn't work. He just uses its car or bike. Then because of it, a lot of noise is being there. Not only the smoke which is coming from it for air pollution, also the noise whatever is be be coming from it is harmful for us and the small birds in the air also and animals on the ground. Traffic noise accounts for most polluting noise in cities. For example, a car horn produces 90 dB, 90 decibels and a bus produces 100 decibels. Means only just one press on the horn 
the car just on one press horns about 90 decibels and a bus just 100 decibels decibels means decibels means just more only 20 decibels are left means because of just one one sound of a horn from a bus car this much of sound this much of uh, pr problem is being done then air traffic noise there are few aircraft flying over cities then there are cars on the roads but the impact is greater a single aircraft produces 130 decibels now just by one horn or just by flying into the sky a flying aircraft or aeroplane or any helicopter anything just a single one produces 130 decibels which is a lot big number of course because of just one horn if because of just one thing our eyes can just blown out as we are inside some airplanes or these all we don't feel a lot of problem in our ears but if we would be outside then it could be a big 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 problem at just one horn our ears could be damaged or there and there only then comes construction sites now building and car park construction and road and pavement resurfacing works are very noisy for example a pneumatic drill produces 110 decibels now just uh, if you can say if sometimes some place construction is there or you can say if some pipeline is going to be underground so they will what do they will because with the drill machine they will hole over there so because of that just a drill machine it produces 110 decibels means construction sites can also produce a lot more harm for our ears then catering and nightlife bars restaurants and terraces that spill outside when the weather is good and produce more than 100 de decibels this includes noise from pubs and clubs now sometimes uh, at some discos and these all at a lot night also many people just uh, go to that uh, their clubs uh, or their disco parties a lot of noise is caused over there also then now we'll talk about what are the effects now we have understood how the noise pollution is caused and what does noise pollution is so now we will understand that what does noise pollution harms us what many many important many big harms what does noise pollution we it does us so we can think about preventing as well as damaging our hearing by causing tinnitus or deafness constant loud noise can damage human health in many ways particularly in the very young and the very old here are some of the main ones physical respiratory ag ag agitation racing pulse high blood pressure headaches and in case of extremely loud constant noise gastritis colitis and even heart attacks now because of this noise pollution a lot of noise when it comes to our ears and ears through brain our brains then because of it the racing pulse becomes high high blood pressure headaches are head starts paining then if it's a lot lot loud big then and it's constant the many diseases many many you can say deafness or any some deficiency happens like uh, gastritis colitis and even because of this heart attacks can be there then psychological noise can cause attacks of stress weight weight depression anxiety and hysteria in both humans and animals now sometimes some people when a lot of sound is there sometimes some people get, get scared or sometimes they become angry so like uh, if you are in a birthday party and at that time a lot of people are just saying anything over here and they just speaking a lot a lot of noise is there so you sometimes uh, some people don't feel good at that time as a lot of sound is there no one is hearing of you no one you cannot hear others a lot of problem you feel and sometimes you feel a lot of angry at that time it is not only for us for humans it's also done by animals because of this noise animals get scared and can do many 
different things which can be not harmful for them to also us. Then sleep and behavioral disorders. Noise above 45 dB decibels stops you from falling asleep or sleeping properly. Remember that according to the World Health Organization, WHO, it should be no more than 30 dB. Loud noise can have latent effects on our behavior, causing aggressive behavior and irritability. Now, because of this noise, because of above 45 decibels noise, only not just we stop sleeping. Because of it, many disorders can happen to us. Like because of it, we will always become ang ag aggressive behavior and we call irritability, we will a lot feel bad. And many will not feel good at that position at that time. Memory and concentration. Noise may affect people's ability to focus, which can lead to low performance over time. It is also bad for the memory, making it hard to study. Interestingly, our ears need more than 16 hours to rest to make up for two hours of exposure to 100 decibels. Means uh, at night, at night when we sleep, we, many people just sleep less than 8 hours. So 8 hours is mandatory. If we count 8 hours also, then it's not that much powerful. As if our ears get a proper rest of 16 hours, then only it can for just all 2 hours, it can just take an exposure of 100 decibels, not more than that. Then comes now we will now we have also talk about effects how it causes us now you just by seeing us by understanding it we can see that it's a lot and lot dangerous to our health and our ears so how to now reduce this noise pollution now noise pollution is not the proper thing that noise pollution is not all the work to the government also we have also do like many sometimes or we can we do some in weddings or in parties and these all we make a lot of big noise so we can see that not that much only at this limited this limited time for this limited time and this limited sound should be there and there then governments governments also can do some take measures in it governments can also take measures to ensure correct noise management and reduce noise pollution for example protecting certain areas parts of the countryside areas of natural interest, city parks, etc. from noise, establishing regulations that include preventing and corrective measures, mandatory separation between residential zones and sources of noise like airports, fines, for exceeding noise limits, etc. Installing noise insulation in new buildings, creating pedestrian areas where traffic is only allowed to enter off to offload goods at certain times placing traditional asphalt with more efficient options that can reduce traffic noise by up to three decibels among others. Now we can, uh, the government can make either mandatory like uh, for, there should be separation in the residential areas where people live to airports and these all, then it can be like in every construction site when people are constructing, they can use a lot of noise insulation installing in installing noise insulation in their new buildings then they there should be different places pedestrian areas where people can walk and and there only some or some vehicles will be there to allow some goods and these all no other vehicles as some other if you're going to separate way of it so like this government can also reduce noise pollution so today we have learned about noise pollution. What is noise pollution? What are the causes of noise pollution? What are the effects of noise pollution? And how to solve it, how to reduce it. Make sure you see about it. You can know you, have, you understand what is noise pollution, how we can reduce it. You know the effects, how bad it, it has effects, not only us to animals, plants, every living organism in this world, and what are the causes of it. And now you know that how to reduce it. You can help in your society. You can tell to your places, your place of ministers and these all. You can send them a report where you can say that please ensure of it or some buildings over here and there. 
you can talk to talk our elders if you can talk to their your elders you can tell them to do like this it's not good for only you as it's good for whole humanity today we have learned about noise pollution make sure before leaving like our video share our video and subscribe our channel and tap the bell icon for the future videos notification and thank you for watching our video till the end bye bye